Often the places that you didn't expect anything from will surprise you the most. Often a detour or a route that was not on your itinerary will impress you more than anything else. Join my spontaneous ride on the famous motorcycle route back of the Dragon in Virginia and visit a state with me that I have never traveled before. What happened in the last episode? I was exploring the famous Blue Ridge Parkway and had initially planned to ride its full length. But when I met two other motorcyclists in the lovely town Little Switzerland, I decided to change my plans and follow their recommendations. I left the Blue Ridge Parkway earlier than expected and was on my way to the state Virginia. From now on, I am following a little different route now, um, the Highway 194 North, which will bring us more or less straight to Virginia. So there is literally only this one red car in front of me, otherwise the roads here are so much more empty now, it's really no comparison to the Blue Ridge Parkway. In the town Lansing I kept following Route 194 and was now really on my way to Virginia without even knowing. Guys, I have to make a confession. I really have no clue about the area that I'm driving through at the moment. I actually as well have no clue about the back of the dragon. Um, the two guys this morning could just have told me some things that are not even true and I would have probably still have come here. But I guess that's part of the adventure, being clueless. One thing I really knew was that I at one point had to find Highway 16 in the state Virginia, because that was where the back of the dragon was about to start. And the second thing I knew was that I was looking very forward to it because the route looked amazing and curvy on Google Maps. This is really so nice now. Nobody around empty and curvy roads. I know that it always doesn't look that spectacular on video, but roads like these are really some of my favorite where you can just ride without any interruptions. So just the most embarrassing thing happened. I stopped here at this gas st station and a guy stops next to me and asks me where I'm heading to. And I was like, yeah, Virginia, um, I'm going north. And he was like, you have probably been in Virginia for about an hour. So I completely missed the border to Virginia. Um, but now I'm going to a state park that is called something like Dragon 2. He said maybe back of the dragon because it's like three mountains and um, you ride over them and it's supposed to be super nice and as well super popular. Oh my god, so now that I know that we are already in Virginia since a while, I can confirm that the roads I just rode are super nice. So that was a nice welcome to Virginia without even knowing. And next is the back of the dragon. Even when I look back at the journey now, in my opinion, the only thing you need to know about the back of the dragon before starting the ride is that you need to find Virginia's highway number 16, north of the town Marion. And then you don't need to think so much anymore at all, but just enjoy what is ahead of you. So this is it. This is the place where we turn officially on the back of the dragon and yes there are already some other motorcyclists so I guess that's a good sign.
The first part of the ride takes you through Hungry Mother State Park and along Hungry Mother Lake before you are heading up into the mountains. This is exactly what I had dreamed of what this day should be like. Great curves and nobody else around. This is really a very, very nice dragon. The famed Back of the Dragon in Taysville County is Virginia's only designated motorcycle route, boosting 32 miles or 51 kilometers and over 300 curves. The name Back of the Dragon was only introduced about 20 years ago by Larry Davidson, who said about the ride, Route 16 runs north to south. The three mountains, Big Walker, Brushy and Clinch, run east to west. I thought this formation reminded me of the humps on the back of a medieval dragon. Other folks have uniquely named roads as attractions, so why couldn't we? This dragon here is very nice and curvy and last year you guys probably remember that I did the very famous tail of the dragon, but I have to admit that I might like this dragon here maybe even more, because there is literally nobody around. And the tail of the dragon was a bit too crowded for my taste. So maybe the back of the dragon is actually better than the tail of the dragon. The root and curves of the back of the dragon actually have some quite interesting names. When riding the 32 miles or 51 kilometers of the dragon, you will conquer the dragon head curve, the lazy dragon, the dragon knee, dragon wing and dragon's elbow. From here it seems like the road goes down the mountain and this is as well the last of the three mountains we already did. So I guess the dragon is coming to an end very soon. Call me, tell me I'm alive, pull me, fill me up inside here. In the silence of the space we all So what's next? I would really like to say after the dragon is before the next dragon, but that's not true because today after the dragon is before finding an accommodation in my case. When arriving in a town Taysville that looked pretty promising in case of accommodation, there was another surprise waiting. I met a motorcyclist again who suggested a ride on the back of the dragon to me this morning at the Alpine Inn on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Too funny, how are you? You were not much faster than me! <laughs> I said I would be super slow, I stopped so many times. Yeah, well we went uh, over the snake in Mountain, uh, Mountain City. Oh nice! Uh, twice. Oh wow! And then up to uh, Damascus. Yeah, I was looking for a hotel here. I'm not so sure they still have rooms. Oh, Do you okay. stay in this old jail? Uh, we're heading to... What's it called? Uh, Finn Castle. Finn Castle? It's local. It's right here. It's, ah. it's two miles away. Yeah, I first wanted to ask at the old jail. There's like a bed and breakfast too. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then the one that you said too. Okay. So maybe we see each other there. Yeah. Now that I'm stranded here, thank you so much. That was a super nice ride. Oh, good. I'm glad you liked it. I really did. Very good. Safe travel. And maybe see you in yeah. a bit. We're staying at that fire whatever. Yeah. So have a good night. <laughs> Thanks.
And then I couldn't figure out where the hotel was that that Hazewell local just had suggested to me on the road. So some other locals realized my confusion and were so nice and helped me out. Ah, uh, I was looking for a hotel. I guess this is the old jail. The old jail, that's it. Do you think this one is better or this other one, the Lynn? There's like a castle or a bigger house. Do you know which one I mean? Uh, yeah, Marine Avenue. Which is nicer? Marine Avenue is like a big mansion. Oh, nice. I'm gonna check that out. You can follow us. Okay. He will take you up and show you where to go. Oh, very yeah. nice. I can just look it up on Google, so you don't yeah. need to bother. Ah, Litz Mansion, it's called, right? Yes. Yeah. So, so how, how far have you been riding? Uh, I'm riding from, in total, from Miami to Boston, but today I came from Little Switzerland on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Oh, there, North Carolina. It's, uh... Yeah. You've had a good ride, Nan. Yeah, it was beautiful. First, I did the Blue Ridge Parkway, and now I did the back of the dragon. Yeah. I mean, it's perfect for motorcycle. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you want to follow me? Okay. Yeah, maybe I follow you if okay. that is not that's if no, that's no problem for you. you that would be lovely. You have a good day. Thank you. You guys too. I'm following this guy in this car now who is guiding me to the hotel here in Paysville and I already love Virginia. I have really had the feeling everybody is so, so friendly here. It's crazy. That's lovely. Yes, it's absolutely beautiful. Do you think you drive in here or yes, here? Oh, thank you so much. What's your name? Clyde. Clyde. Yep. Thank you so much thank for bringing you. me. I hope now they have a room. This looks lovely. Oh, it is. It's beautiful. Oh, yes, yes. fingers crossed. Yeah. Take care. That's it. It looks like a really big house. I hope they have a room, but the parking is completely empty. So maybe they closed or nobody is staying here. We will see. Empty is always a little bit suspicious to me. So it turns out that this place here, the Litz main mansion, which looks very nice, uh, doesn't have a reception. It's online, you book online and you log in and then you can open the door. I called the guy and he said I should just do it. So we will see. The Litz mansion was originally built in 1859. Today it houses several rooms that are rent over their website and Airbnb. And you can indeed use all facilities of the house, like the huge shared kitchen or its living rooms. The Litz mansion is within walking distance of Taysville Main Street, so for me it was the perfect location to explore the town. I ended up in Taysville now, which is at the end or the start, depending from where you're coming, of the back of the dragon. And now I'm super hungry. Um, I have to find a little restaurant downtown. Located in the heart of the scenic Appalachia, Taysville is surrounded by stunning trails, hiking and mountains and offers the full Southwest Virginia experience. The town of Taysville is a perfect blend of small town quaint and lovely gastronomy, like the Painted Peak Brewing or the restaurant The Front Porch, where I ended up having a delicious dinner. And yes, Taysville is small, but quite popular amongst the biking community, because it is nestled among the back of the dragon's rolling mountains. Good morning everyone. I am in Virginia now, heading straight to West Virginia, which is kind of like around the corner. First finding for some breakfast and then today I will go to some very typical places of here. I will look at some abandoned buildings, find some abandoned town halls and explore the area a little bit. I'm very curious. So today is a bit more, I guess, cultural and discovering than riding. Good 
Good morning everyone. I'm super excited today because I am going to a place I have never been before and that I think might be one of the highlights of this trip here. And I already told you before what it is, but like always I first have to find some breakfast. Instead of having breakfast in Taysville, I decided to go to one of the next bigger towns to see a little more of Virginia. I am entering the next bigger town here in the area that is called Bluefield and where I will hopefully find some breakfast. At an elevation of 2,389 feet or 728 meters, with East River Mountain reaching 3,700 feet or 1,127 meters at the town southern limit, Bluefield is also known as Virginia's tallest town. While looking for a place to have breakfast and checking out the main square, I bumped in some locals who suggested the next destination to me. So while I had breakfast in Bluefield, I just met some locals and they told me that I have to visit the small village of Bramwell because it's supposed to be super historical. So that's what I'm doing and where I'm heading now. But Bramwell is in West Virginia, so our West Virginia adventure is about to start now. What happens in Bramwell doesn't stay in Bramwell. But you have to wait for next week's episode to find out more about my trip through West Virginia. If you like the ride on the back of the dragon, give this video a thumbs up and comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new to the got to go travel crew. And I can highly recommend to tune in next Thursday because I will be visiting mystical and stunning places all over West Virginia.